when you're playing this little metal guitar riff, one thing I was noticing in your picking hand is the pick is traveling very far away from the strings when you're, you're picking. So it, it, was, it was worse when you're doing the accents than when it was on the single string stuff, right. which is usually usual what happens. Yeah. So, so just, could, just so you can visually see, uh, from, from me exaggerating it, what was actually going on, it would have... <laughs> You know, there's that kind of thing going on. Yeah. So, while at slow speeds, this you know might not seem like it's too bad. Like you, you, this, this metal rhythm thing sounds kind of cool, right? We're going <laughs> sounds pretty badass. Yeah. But when you want to play this faster, so say you want to get your James Hetfield kind of speed, all of this master of puppets. Yeah. All of this distance is all going to eat up time. Yeah. So when we want to try and play fast. We don't want to be wasting any time anywhere in our playing. So any time we can regain back is going to help us not only to play faster, but actually also play faster without using any extra effort at all. Because what we've done is we've minimized down the motions. Okay. So why don't we just try it, Josh? Let's just take this little thing I was doing here. So we're just bouncing back and forth between the, the low E string. <laughs> And then the seventh fret on the A string. So let's put on the bridge pickup as well. Okay, so you can just accent this however you want. So you know, that doesn't really matter. All I want you to watch is your picking hand, and we should try and make it so that. That guy doesn't fly away from the string, it's like a little rocket. Okay. Okay? Need to accent any small. You need to slow down. I think it's moving a smaller distance now, but now I've lost some of that articulation. There's no balls left. So now... I got that. We want to, we want to try and get that. So, it's really good to minimize down the motions now. It's a really good start. So now what I want you to do is, each time you pick those strings, one thing you can do to get lower articulation really easily is to push against the string a little bit before you play it. Okay. So just to give you an example of what happens when you don't push against the string compared to what you do. So I'm, I'm not gonna push against the string any harder. I'm not gonna pick it any harder. I'm not gonna grip my pick any harder. And you're gonna hear just how much difference this can make and how easy it is to still stay in control without this pick flying everywhere. Okay, so right now, my pick isn't pushing into that string at all. So the note itself sounds pretty weak. Right, yeah. Yeah, there's no balls in this at all. Sounds like it's a pussy. Okay. So now listen to what happens when I let that pick push against the string a little bit before it moves through. Okay. Okay. I haven't picked the string any harder. Okay, it sounds like I have. I'm not picking the grip. The, I'm not gripping the pick any harder. I'm not digging into those strings any harder. Right. All I'm doing is simply letting the pick push against the string a little bit before it goes through. Okay. So in order to do this, we're going to need to slow down even further. Right. So let's get this sort of speed. Okay. And just let that pick just push against the string a little bit before it falls through. Okay. 
So push the string even more. You go even more than that. Okay, so this is a good start. So there's, there's one little fret hand thing that's happening right now that I want to get to in a second. But I just want to work on this picking hand a little bit more. Okay. So right now we made, we made a good start on sort of you know, pushing against the string a little bit. But let's push against it even more. So you don't be afraid to let that pick really push against that string. Okay. Because the more that string is pushed, or if you're doing an upstroke, is pulled, the louder your articulation is gonna be without needing to pick any harder, Josh. Okay. So I'll just demonstrate the difference for you again, and um, you basically what I want you to try and do. So we have the pussy note, right? Can you imagine Master of Puppets? Yeah, it doesn't yeah. sound very good anymore, does it? How about... Yeah, that's better. That's got some fucking balls to it. Yeah. So... Really... Let that pick push against that string. Okay. It's the same with the low E string. So really let that... Really let the pick just push against that string. Doesn't have more balls to it now? Yeah. yeah? We haven't picked any harder. Now all of a sudden it sounds freaking badass. It's slow, but it sounds aggressive. So, in order to get this to you know, those kind of speeds, it's just simply a case of repeating this part slow, getting used to the feeling of pushing against that string, and just gradually speeding up the riff, always focusing yeah. on that. 